Hello students, good evening and welcome to my YouTube channel once again. Today I have taken a 40 marks question paper of for mathematics part 2 that is geometry as a preparation of SSC board exam 2023 and what I observe in this uh, that the problem number 1 and 3 as mentioned here in equation number 4 uh, I found that question number one and third was solved by many students or most of the students, but most of them are struggled in uh, sub question number second. So I'm going to solve these two problems or three if I got some time. Uh, first, sub question number second, and then first. And if uh, the video are not going to be uh, very lengthy, then we are going to solve the third question. So I prefer second question here. So as I found that many students struggle in this construction. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is a question number four. And if you want to get uh, out of marks, you have to solve question number four first. All right. Means if we can solve question number four, then there are much uh, possibility that you are getting 100 out of 100 marks. So let's solve question number three and first i'm going to solve sub question number two in this and uh, we have a construction in this problem which states in triangle abc bc is equal to 5.8 centimeter bp which is perpendicular to the side of triangle abc uh, ac is the side of triangle abc then cq the segment which is perpendicular to the side of triangle ab and we have to fulfill some conditions here. BP, which is perpendicular to AC, must be 5 cm. And CQ, which is a segment perpendicular to side AB, must be equal to 4.8 cm. And I have to construct, or we have to construct this triangle ABC. So let us understand how one can construct this triangle. Let us understand. this problem theoretically first then we are going to construct it all right so first let's understand we have to construct this triangle abc in which bc must be equal to 5.8 centimeter and this must be the vertex a and bp bp means uh, this is nothing but a segment which must be uh, perpendicular to AC, all right, like this one. So we have this point as P, and we also have to uh, construct a CQ which is perpendicular on AB, all right, like this. CQ, which is perpendicular to AB, and CQ must be equal to 4.8 centimeter. So CQ is equal to 4.8 centimeter, and BP must be equal to 5 centimeter. So this is a rough figure just for understanding. Uh, now, the, mo the most difficult challenge is that we have to construct this triangle. Uh, which will fulfill all these conditions given in uh, this problem. So to solve this, I already got a construction tool here. All right. So first, we are going to um, draw BC as a 5.8 centimeter. But this BC is not only a segment, but a uh, diameter of a, a uh, diameter of a circle means we have to construct or draw a circle whose diameter is a 5.8 centimeter and which is named as bc so bc must be a diameter of a circle okay so construct any circle or draw any circle we must know the radius of the circle and as we know bc is uh, going to be a diameter of the circle we can find the length of radius of course so if uh, 
base is a diameter which is 5.8 centimeter uh, then a radius of this circle must be uh, 1 by 2 times of the diameter which is equal to 2.9 centimeter so first we have to uh, draw a circle whose radius is 2.9 centimeter so let's draw a circle first so i'm going to use a the ruler here and then compass and i'm going to take 2.9 centimeter distance in the compass all right this is 2.9 centimeter now it has been locked and now i'm going to draw a circle of the radius 2.9 centimeter all right so now we have a circle whose radius is 2.9 centimeter meaning the diameter diameter must be equal to 5.8 centimeter which is twice the radius all right so this circle is uh, uh, the base of our construction we can say and whose radius is 2.9 centimeters means the diameter is 5.8 centimeters and the diameter of the circle is a side of our triangle which we are going to construct so i can name it b c which is 5.8 centimeter why it is 5.8 centimeter because we have uh, drawn a circle here whose radius is 2.9 centimeter and diameter must be equal to 5.8 centimeter that's all okay now we have a side pc of the triangle now we have to draw pp which is a perpendicular on ac and bp is equal to 5 centimeter so simply i'm going to take a distance 5 centimeter in the compass all right 5 centimeter distance in the compass now considering b as a center i'm going to draw hold on a second i'm going to draw a, a not circle but uh, an arc Huh? And this point, which is intersecting this circle, must be P. As we know that we have drawn BP, whose length is 5 cm. And, and another condition we, are, uh, we have to fulfill, uh, fulfill that bp must be perpendicular to ac to fulfill that i am going to draw a ray which is start from c and will pass through p all right then i am going to draw b and p okay since bc is the diameter of the circle and b P, C is an inscribed angle. Okay. So, as we know that the angle inscribed in the semicircle is a right angle. So, this angle P, P, C is a right angle. Means, now P, P is perpendicular to A, C. Remember that A is not fixed 8. We have to fix A first. Then it will become A, C. All right, so BP will be perpendicular to AC once the A will fix. Now, we have an, another condition here, like uh, CQ must be perpendicular to AB and CQ is equal to 4.8 centimeter. To fulfill this condition, I'm going to take a distance of 4.8 centimeter in the compass like this 4.8 centimeter 
All right. And taking C as a center, I'm going to I'm going to draw an arc like this and the point uh, vacating by the intersection of this arc and circle must be Q. All right. Okay. Now I'm going to join this uh, CQ and BQ like this. Okay. Now we have a point Q here. All right. This one is a point Q and CQ is perpendicular to A, B. Now, this point of intersection of these two rays is nothing but the point A, which is the third vertex of our triangle. Now, let's understand uh, if all these conditions are fulfilled or not. So, as per given in the equation, CQ must be perpendicular to AB. Yes, it is perpendicular. Why it is perpendicular? Because Q is a point on a circle, BC is a diameter, means BQC is an inscribed angle which is inscribed in a semicircle and uh, as we know uh, that if a inscribed angle which is inscribed in a semicircle must be equal to 90 degree means angle Q or BQC is a 90 degree means simply CQ is perpendicular to AB similarly BP which is also perpendicular to AC which fulfills all these conditions which is given uh, which are given in the problem and we took BP as a 5 centimeter and uh, CQ as 4 centimeter. All right, so we have this triangle ABC in which BC is a 5.8 centimeter. BP is perpendicular to AC and whose length is 5 centimeter. Then CQ is perpendicular to AB and whose length is 4 centimeter, 4.8 centimeter. All right. This is our construction. Okay, now let's move towards the next problem. Now let's solve a sub question number first, in which we have to prove a trigonometric statement in which we have a left hand side. Left hand side as in bracket 1 plus 1 upon tan square A times 1 plus 1 upon cot square A, which uh, we need to convert, and the converted result must be equal to 1 whole divided by sine square A minus sine raised to 4A. So let's convert this in a right hand side. So, this 1 will be as it is, plus, as we know, the tan is the reciprocal of a cot, so we can write 1 upon tan square th a as a cot square a, and then 1 plus as it is, and 1 upon cot square a can be written as uh, tan square a, all right, since uh, tan is the reciprocal of cot so 1 by cot can be written as tan similarly 1 by cot square a can be written as a tan square a so we can write the reason here 1 by tan square a is nothing but the cot square a and 1 by cot square a is equal to tan square a now we have three trigonometric identities which we have already learned and we states uh, one of the, one of them is a uh, one plus cot square theta is a cos square theta so one plus cot square a can be written as a cos square a and then multiplication sign 
Similarly, one plus tan square theta can be written as sec square theta. So one plus tan square a now can be written as sec square a. Why? So these are two trigonometric identities. Since one plus cot square a is equal to cos square a. Similarly, one plus tan square a is equal to sec square a. Now let's further modify them. Uh, cos square a can be written as one upon sine square. Yes, since the sine and cos are reciprocal of each other, so we can write uh, cos square a is equal to one by sine square a times and six is a reciprocal of cos. So six square a can be written as a one by cos square a. So I'm not not going to mention uh, uh, in the reason that uh, cos six square a is equal to one by sine square a and uh, six square a is equal to one by cos square a. Okay, so let's understand. Yes, now we have to fraction in the multiplication. So one times one is a one and sine square a into cos square a, right? Now, let us see what the right hand side is. Uh, so we need a uh, one as a numerator in right hand side, so we got it. And in the denominator of right hand side, we need some sine type. Uh, trigonometric ratio sine type so this is sine square a will be as it is no problem all right so this one will be remain as it is sine square a will be as it is but since we need all sine ratios uh, we can convert this cos square a as 1 minus sine square a since we know that cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sine square theta. So we can write uh, 1 minus sine square theta instead of cos square theta. Now let's further modify them. So let's multiply or split this sine square a into 1 will become sine square a. Then the sine of uh, subtraction or minus then a size sine square a into sine square a will become sine raised to 4 a and this thing this is nothing but the right hand side of our original segment therefore left hand side is equal to right hand side hence the statement is proved so similarly uh, you can solve this problem number 3 in here I hope you understood this video very well. Uh, if you like this video, you can press the like button just below the video title. You can share this video among your friends. And if you uh, didn't subscribe to channel 8, you can subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video. Have a good time.